Howdy guys, welcome back to Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. I'm Nintendo Capri also known as NTS. And wow, I sounded totally gay there. Isn't that awesome? Um I'm gonna go exploring. I know they said the time is now and all that shit, but I'm gonna go exploring. Because this is what I did last time. And this is what I'm gonna do this time. I'm gonna go back to Norion, because I have a bunch of power-ups now. And one of my favorite parts of a Metroid game is going back to old places, seeing stuff that you couldn't touch before, and, you know, doing it up. Seeing what you can do about it this time. Now, unfortunately, I'm going to go ahead and tell you that I had, that I did encounter the Metroid spawner, or Metroid hatcher, rather, in that playthrough, so you don't really get to hear my reaction to that. But it's okay, because I basically died to him anyway after being completely stupid about the whole thing. So I think I kind of figured it out towards the end. I also noticed that now, if you look on the map, we have these white dots here. Like this right here, there's one right there. Um, those are power-ups. And ever since I... Well, you remember on Elysia when I sent out all those satellites by going into the bomb slots? Well... That's what I did. That's the reward that I reaped for having done that. Now, supposedly there's a power up in here, but I couldn't figure out like how to get to it. Like, I guess there's like another passageway up here, but I couldn't really spot anything. Like I tried going at it from both sides, and I couldn't get in anywhere. But there does seem to be. Oh, look at this. No, I haven't already, already seen any. But there definitely does seem to be something there. It looks like a morph ball tunnel. I mean, maybe... Oh, oh, that's probably what that goes to. Okay. Never mind, then. Okay, that makes sense, then. So, anyway, there's nothing the other way, so we're just gonna head on out. Into this room, which I'm not a big fan of. Hello. Thank you, C-3PO. Luke! Luke! Don't be sorry. I, I couldn't really tell what he said there. I had the volume set pretty low. Pretty low! You know. Just come through here. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a door over here. And this, I don't know if I just didn't get... No, but this is my original file. So obviously I missed this. Maybe I didn't have missiles last time I came through here? I don't know. For whatever reason, I never got this. And now I have it. It's mine now. This is a nice room, too. Um, oh, look at here. I didn't get these last time. Hunter Rundus. Oh. Subject is a native of Frigus, a mood of planet best three known primarily for ice mining. The Frigisian ability to manipulate and generate ice has come in handy in Subject's career as a bounty hunter. Intel suggests he enjoys hunting to the point. <laughs> hunting? Really? I never would have guessed. To the point where he keeps trophies from all the targets he successfully captured or killed. Subject is proud, cocky, and arrogant, and considers himself without rival in this field. Well, he's kind of right. And this is Gore. Give me all the gory details. Veteran of the Liberation War of Wotan 7. Only 6% of Subject's birth body remains. The rest is state-of-the-art cyberware. So he's basically Darth Vader. Despite his career in heavy cybernetic modifications, Subject is known for his high level of empathy and compassion. Jen Dolan approaches him lightly, but does not most skilled with fighters. It tells us he even has a sense of humor. <laughs> Subject is often championed the weak, poor and downtrodden, working for free, or getting bounty money earned to the victims of his targets. Doesn't that kind of defeat the purpose? Alright, let's learn about the cute one now. Subject Homeworld Unknown possesses metamorphic abilities similar to the biomorphs of Jovia 12 can assume the forming abilities of most living things, including bioforms considerably larger than the subject. Keep that in mind. Scans are unable to determine subject's age, but Psyche eval suggests a high degree of youthfulness. Intel suggests that bounty hunting is akin to a sport for her, and one she enjoys considerably. Receives the veteran hunter Samus Aaron as her chief rival, a rival she intends to surpass as soon as possible. But we're not going to let that happen. She's dead. Like, she will die, because we will fight her in this game. 
if the past is any indication. If you want to know when someone's... Here's the thing, if you want to know somebody's true intentions, just look at the path that they're on. That's what Diane Lane says in the commentary for the Unfaithful DVD. I kind of want to hear that again now. <laughs> Alright, if you see the little letter X there, that means there's a power-up that you've picked up already, which in this case is the energy tank that was right there at the beginning. So. It's worth noting. Uh, let's see. Do I want to do this now? Oh wait, I came through here. Now, let's go get this one first. Because I got this one earlier, and it was pretty, <laughs> it's pretty cool, actually. There's a door over here that you can actually grab. Well. Ugh, like so. Yank it off. Put your hand on the monitor. Pretty sure I watched someone do this in an LP a long time ago. But, but that was a long-ass time ago, though. So, oh, you can't spring ball and do that? Well, too bad. Why did I bomb jump there? I don't know. Oh yeah, this is the part that reminded me of Battletoads. I don't know, well, it's something about the, like, the gas spraying out, you know, stage 8. It's a truder excluder. here. We're going to need the steam to get in. Oh, wait. On the box, too. Bam! That sound that it makes when you pick something up. It just... It sounds like something snapping together, like two Legos snapping together or something. It's really nice. And there we go. Now that one's taken care of. Okay. This over here is where the Metroid Hatcher is. I don't know yet. I might come through and do this later. I guess I could open the door. No, no, I'll save that for later. So what all have we... Well, there is a pickup on the way there, though. Yeah. I don't know if it's worth it. Yeah, well, there's a pickup there, too. Well, well, there's nothing else... Oh, oh, there's something over there, too. Okay, you know what? I think we might want to go check that out. Hang on. There's something over there, too. Ah, oh, so many upgrades, so little time. The beauty of Metroid has made itself known. Now I want to go back to Brio and see what all is there. See, we have a door here. Excuse me, man, that was a burp and a hiccup at the same time. And I don't know why I imparted that information to you. It's like, oh, that was a burp and a hiccup. You know, a geometry homework. Alright, so I'm assuming that this is like a... Something I'm going to have to screw attack to jump to or something? Find out in a minute here. Wait a minute, where am I going? Is this where I wanted to go? Yeah, this is where I wanted to go. So there was a power up there before that we got. And my ship's not here, but that's okay. I don't really care anyway. And apparently it's right over here. But it's... Huh. Alright, well, this is weird. It's definitely on the map. Like, if I look here, there is something there. Alright, well, I saw something just before I went to the map screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look at that! Huh. <laughs> you realize that was back there. Hey! I didn't get that one in the last recording, so yay on me. It's because I got distracted on the way here. Could have just screw attacked that, but that's okay. That's a nice little hidden area back there. I like that. <laughs> now that we've done that, the question becomes, well, is there anything else here? There was just the two pickups on the way to the Metroid Hunter. Or the, yeah, that one and that one over there. For the most part, I got everything else. Tell you what, man, I am loving this game. Just the whole atmosphere of it and everything. The way the ship can just fly anywhere to you. Like, this wouldn't be crazy if you could have done this in Super Metroid. Yeah, we're gonna save an enter ship, and we're gonna go just 
just look around a little bit. We may not be able to get everything, but the more we get, the better. A couple more energy tanks wouldn't be bad. Energy and ammo fully replenty. Replenty. As far as that goes, I could probably go back to Elysia now. And look around there, too. Rio, long time no see. Why is there a thing here that I haven't been to? I don't know. Uh, we'll start over here. Start over at the Cliffside Air Dock. I don't remember where that is, but it sounds lovely. It sounds very pretty. So I'm trying to think. Oh my gosh, good news, guys. For those of you Ace Attorney fans who've been waiting for me to do Apollo Justice, well... Last night, or not last night, but the night before, I actually got my 3DS capture software working. I don't know what I did, but somehow I got it working. And so... I don't know what happened with my computer when it died that time, but whatever happened made it start working again. And I wish I had checked it out sooner, but I didn't. So... <laughs> I mean, I had to do a few things. I had to mess around a little bit and download some drivers and some shit and all that, but... But man, I'm telling you, I can't believe it's working again. Of course, I'll probably go in there tomorrow and it won't work, and I'll be all, no, you know, anyway. Alright, so, let's, uh, take a little tour here. There's one right there, jeez. There's one over there. There's one, oh, they're all over the place, dear God. Okay, well then let's just start here. Let's start with the simple. Let's start with the simple ones. Simple plans. Simple plans indeed. I should probably uh, like think about stopping the video here pretty soon. I, don't, I feel like I just started though, really. Oh, and you know what else I can do now? This. This is how we're going to get all that stuff that we didn't get before. Maybe I don't want to destroy this bridge. You are free! So are you! You got to do the thing. I don't feel like doing that right now. My arms are way too lazy. Hello! I see you over there. Where'd you go? Did you disappear? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yo, you're, you're, you're right next to me all of a sudden. You're tough. You're a tough mama, mama jamma or mama jamma. Okay, so it should be. What, dude? Two of you. Okay, I got a better idea. You're frozen now. Oh, you really are frozen, aren't you? And then I just thawed you out. Did this like knock you off the side? Yeah, there we go. That wasn't really knocking you off the side, but it was close enough. Okay, so it's like way up there. Uh, let's try this. Let's just get a little higher. Just a little higher! Just a little higher! And then... Over here, maybe we can see it. I, I do see it. I see it. It's right over there. Nice. Okay. Question, though. Uh, never mind. Is that, over, is that the bridge? Huh. That's not the bridge. Wait a minute. Can I get up from there? It looks like... I don't know. I'm gonna try something stupid. Ah, maybe that wasn't so stupid. <laughs> where, where is this, though? I must know. I must see. Is this just... Okay, wait, well, let's get this one first. Energy tank! Hell yeah! Rock on! That's what I like to see. What a lovely room, too. Is there anything in here? Just a campfire. Oh, hello. Panama takes a beer a week from me. Blah, 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 blah. We got ourselves another lore here. Da -da -da, Brionian data. Golden age. Let's see. Looking out to the past, into the time of peace on Brio, see the age of gold, when our world was a paradise unrivaled, 
Hear the songs of joy fill the streets of the royal city as the people honor the coming of Brius, the first, the liberator. Behold the launch of our first ship to the stars on that day and witness the rise of science of a new Brio. See this and see the beginning of our downfall. So poetic. Alright then. Well, have I even been over... Ugh. I want to look at that. Well, first we'll check this out. Because we know there's something here. Yeah. Oh god, don't do that again, don't do jeez. Something gonna trap me on the way there. Booyah! Alright. This is probably just gonna drop me off right there. Right there. I'm curious where that other thing went though. Oh, I got my wheeze off center a little bit here. Or maybe my sensor bar. Yeah, when I actually started recording this the first time, I had some kind of issue syncing up my Wii mode. Because I set up a Wii, a regular Wii out here. And it was trying to sync to the Wii and not the Wii U. But I guess that's what happens when you set them right next to each other. Hey. What is that? I don't know. It is of no concern. Soon the rebellion will be crushed and young Skywalker will be one of us. Alright, so now that we've done that. Let's see here. No, we gotta keep going. There's more to do. What room is this, though? Oh, this is the other. Okay, I know where we are. Never mind. I'm just being stupid here. Should we come in this door here? Or not this door, but this door. <laughs> now we're on the other side of that. Oh man. Oh, everything's so easy here now. something here. This looks a little too suspicious. Wait, what is that? I've already scanned that. What is... What are you spitting? You're spitting on me. Don't ever do that again. Don't. Don't you dare. What is that? The statue contains fuel gel and could explode. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. I I didn't do this before. Whoa, whoa. How far up off the ground was that? Is there something across from me here? There is something across from me. What are we doing here? Hang on. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. Bingo. 